Ladies and gentlemen, today was a fun video to make because I do everything in this video from teaching you guys how to re-roll an account to get the perfect start in Guardian Tales, all the way to spending $100 to show you guys the equipment drop rate you can expect if you decide to re-roll for equipment. I talk about the difference between heroes and equipment and which one you should be going for. I tell you how long it's gonna take to do it, how many gems you can expect, where to start, where to stop, everything you need to know to get the perfect re-rolling start in this game. I love you all, thanks for watching the video, and let's go ahead and get into it. Something important of note in the beginning, this is gonna take approximately 20 to 30 minutes for each re-roll. The re-rolls are gonna give you a chance to do one 10 poll, as in most gacha games, one 10 poll is your first big poll, and you can choose between either trying to poll for a hero and get one of the best heroes, or you can try to poll for a weapon and get one of the best weapons. Keep in mind, there is no guarantee you will pull a unique in this game or a three star or a legendary as it would be called or an F5 in other games, the best characters. In other words, there is no guarantee that on the first 10 pull, you will pull one. The drop rates are 3% for a weapon. That's per one, not for a 10% in, or not for a 10 pull and you are doing a 10 pull, so it will be higher if you want to do you know, the recursive math on that, you can. Uh, but it's 3% for the weapon and 2% uh, for a hero, you get 10 in the box and good luck. It costs 2,700 gems to do a tempo and it costs $25 for 3,000 gems. That means you're saving about, you know, what, $22, $23 every time you attempt to re-roll in the beginning to get the character you want. So you can t pat yourself on the back if you're doing this because you're probably saving about $40 an hour. Now we're gonna talk about what characters you're really looking for. This is without a doubt the number one character you're gonna be looking for, Marina. She is a tank. She also does pretty good damage because she has the best hook shot in the game, which posts them by the end as well as taunts them. She puts a shield on everybody at max rank. She has some pretty good attributes about her and I'm not talking about her physical appearance. Her abilities are pretty good. I have her. She's also the best character in PVP from what I have heard. I've used her in PVP, the great effect so far and when paired with her weapon, the Armada, she's even better. Now, if you want to know who else you're gonna look for, this character is a very strong PvP character, but is overall one of the stronger range characters in the game, Bari, so you can look for her. She would be a good pole, and she's also the counter to Marina in PvP, so therefore she almost kind of shares in PvP the rank one, because if someone has Marina and you have Bari, you have the counter, right? Speaking of PvP, this is another good character for PvP. This is Lupina, L U P I N A. This is what she looks like. She's the wolf chick. She's a PVP, pretty top tier character. If you pull this character, Annabelle, you should definitely keep the account. I really wish I had her. She's very good with her weapon, the genocide as well. So definitely want to keep her in mind. Lawn's not bad. This new character, the with the rate up, uh, Tina, which you could put your diamonds into the rate up on her. I think she's quite good. I've been using her in PVP and PVE with her weapon. She's especially good, but I guess that's true with most of these. I wasn't terribly impressed with Eugene. Lawn's good. It's kind of a support character. She can do some healing uh, with her awakening skill, which I like a lot, but really you're looking for Marina, uh, Lupina would be good for PVP, Bari would be good overall, uh, Annabelle would be quite good. If you pull this character, uh, which is Pilt, Pilt Vice or however you pronounce that, uh, you can actually get her for free uh, it, just by playing the game. So if you pull her, it's not a rip, it's not like you have to start over, but you can get her for free, but it takes a while to get her. So consider keeping her, it's not a useless account, but just throwing that information out there. Okay, so let's get into actually how to do the rerolls. Okay, so here's how the re-row, it's actually really quite simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna launch the game for the first time. When you go to sign in here, it's gonna say sign in with Facebook, Google, Apple, or sign in as a guest, okay? If you sign in with Google, you use a Gmail account, Apple, it's gonna log you in through your game center, right? Sign as a guest is what you can do here if you don't want to link with anything, okay? Now for me, I use Google, you can use multiple Gmail accounts or whatever you want, but you can also use sign in as guest, but then if you do the sign in, guest here, would you like to sign up as a guest? If you delete the game application or device information, you can't play the game with the pre-existing information. Protect your data safely if you link your account in the settings. Meaning, AKA, you can sign in as a guest and then link it later, okay? So that way you don't have to make a million emails or something like that. 
Keep in mind, if you do this, you do run the risk of losing the account that pulled the God poll that you were really happy about, okay? So for that reason, be careful. Also, I signed in as a guest, logged back out. When I was in the middle of the tutorial, all that progress was lost. I do probably recommend making Google accounts, okay? For this, just to, that way they're all saved and you have multiple accounts and you can really pick the best one you one already. If you get stuck where you can't log in, kind of like you saw on my previous screen there, just change the server, which will force log you out of whatever guest account. If it's a guest account, you will lose all the items on that. Otherwise, it would just force log you out and you can log back in with your Gmail again. Now we need to talk about re-rolling and what actually you have to do once you re-roll the account. So what you need to do is you'll go through the tutorial and then it's gonna take you to normal. It's gonna take you to world one. You need to clear all the way through world one in order to get enough achievements and have your free pose plus the 10 pole, okay? You can stop at one four if you want, which is when summoning unlocks and you get some free pose with the little bit that you've gotten by then. But if you go all the way through and just do three more stages up to seven, I think some of the side quests might be required to be honest. You do a couple of them because they don't take that long. The side ones you can see are just one star. And only Some of them are only like 30 seconds long, okay? But if you go up through one seven, you'll have enough for a free 10 pull on top of the, the, the free ones you add up from, from one four. So I do recommend going all the way through one seven. It might take you a little bit longer, but that is probably the best way to do it. Now, do you want to do hero or weapon pose? That's what people, normally ask is, okay, well, I got my free tempo DM, should I do it in hero or weapons? The go-to answer is weapons because weapons can be put on the starting character, the knight person, and will up your power significantly because you can get like abilities with them and whatnot. However, the heroes for me are more fun because you get to try to get the characters you want. I think the answer for me is this. If you're not willing to reroll very many times, you want to reroll for the weapons, okay? Uh, that way you'll get the higher drop rate, weapons are a higher drop rate than the heroes, and you can use those weapons on your normal hero you start with, okay? However, if you're willing to put some time into rerolling, meaning like maybe a couple days or all day one day, then, Try to go for the hero and then try to get the hero that you really want. So you'll enjoy the game from the beginning and you're not gonna feel the nature, the gamble over and over again trying to get the hero you really want. Because in my opinion, the game is very fun and should be played for the fun aspect, not for the competitive aspect as PVP is definitely pay to win from my experience. So definitely play it for fun, reroll until you get the character you want. And at the end here, what the heck, I'll do a few pose just to show you guys some of the drop rate as well. I'm gonna show you that this is $100. That means the pose you're about to witness, if you re-row enough times to get that many pose, then you will have saved $100. Keep in mind that the $100 I'm spending is going to accumulate on the account, meaning this account's getting stronger, whereas if you guys are saving the 100 bucks by re-rolling a bunch, it's spread throughout a bunch of other accounts, okay? So there is that to be said. That being said, we have 13,000 gems. That's the ding of my PayPal telling me your money is now gone. I'm gonna do some weapon pose so that way you guys can see what the weapon pose look like. And when you do a tempo, it is just a tempo. You don't get the one freebie. It's not an 11 po or something like that. However, you get a 300 gem discount. Now see, look at that. This could have been a full reroll right here. And what you can see here is just a normal, a normal. Look at these, these don't look good at all. Rare, that's a two star rare, a rare. There's a three star unique. That's not terrible. I guess Earth Song two handed. There's a, a God Ring. And that's the other thing about the equipment is uh, you can put multiple pieces of equipment because you can get rings and stuff like that. See, this is quite a bad pole. This would have been a very disappointing half hour to go th blow through that. You see, the only one that looks decent here is the Earth. Earth song two-handed. The other thing is you notice here where it says new. Let me show you another reason why equipment pose are actually quite good. Because in the menu here, when you go to the book and you go to the items, when you get a new one, you get gems based upon acquiring new items. So you can actually, if you do a bunch of these pose, right, you over time you you get a little bit back. Okay. Now now granted that's not very much, but just a little bit of information for you. Let's do another equipment pose here. Go ahead. You know, I gotta turn the music on. What am I doing? Whoop. Sorry, it's supposed to be so loud. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, see, there's one rare one in there. That's an accessory, a gauntlet. 
a rare flame staff, a unique claw, tribe and two handed, the bow's gauntlet, and a necklace accessory. Ooh, a four star earring legend accessory. I think that might be one of my better earrings now. Cat basket and ice crystal basket. See, most of these are complete and other garbage. Now, granted, you can rank them up. Okay, so we got two new pieces there. So there is two poles. We have 8,000 left, okay? So that's what? We got just, we have three poles left? No, only two poles left? Well, my math is terrible. Oh, it's gonna go again. I can't, I can't math right now. Yeah, three poles. So we'll do three more here. Do, 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 do. See, look at this. There you go. Bronze sword. Necklace, you see? In other words, in other words, the equipment drops can be quite bad. You, this would have been what three rerolls, four rerolls. You guys have seen about two hours of rerolling so far, I believe. Can we even get one at this point? Where where are we pot committed into the weapons? Try again with the weapon here. Come on now. Give us something good. Give me a genocide, the weapon for Annabelle. Then I can purchase Annabelle with my mileage tickets. Look at this, guys. No unique again. Just a bunch more rares. You see, we got one, what is that, one legendary maybe? There you go, okay, a unique, uh, see a four star staff of elegance. Now what you can do is use the four stars and evolve them into the uh, five stars. That's one way to get weapons too. So if you do get four stars, which I'll do another video on that too, but you can turn this into a random five star. Drops a huge statue on an enemy. All right, this is the last one. One time no whammies, baby. There you go, and... Oh, <laughs> if you get white box, it means you did it. So can I give a, can I give a thumb up at least for uh, sacrificing for, for the video? <laughs> oh no, blade shield. Gauntlet of brilliance, legend gauntlet. Oh no, wasn't even something good. I don't like the gauntlets. Trophy basket. All right, well. <laughs> Oh, whoo, we got punched right, right in the chops there. That one hurt, boys, that one hurt. But there you go. You see what I mean? You gotta see, you gotta see that uh, it, it can be quite expensive, which is why rerolling can be good, because if you do actually pull one, then you saved yourself the pain that I just caused myself. So give me a like if this video helped you. Uh, leave your comment if you need some questions answered or if you wanna leave a comment, let me know what video you need covered next. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.